God gave the laws to the Jews, apparently to show them, you can't do this. When Moses came down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments, the people made a huge mistake. After Moses read the law to the people, they said, all that the Lord hath commanded, we will do. They should have said, God, be merciful to us as sinners. But when Moses was given the law, about 1400 B.C. roughly, that was the chance the people should have said, oh, God, be merciful. Instead, in their pride and ego, said, we can handle this. Okay, well, let's see you handle it. And for 1400 years, nobody kept the law. Nobody. They had to have a yearly sacrifice and an occasional sacrifice throughout the year to pay for their transgressions. The whole purpose of this law was to show them you're a sinner. The law is like a mirror. The mirror does not comb your hair or brush your teeth or wash your face. The mirror shows you what needs to be done. The law is like a mirror. I look at the law and say, wow, I'm a sinner. I can't do this. And then God's mercy steps in. So if you want to try to keep the law, go for it. I'm going to say you're going to be an extremely frustrated individual in a short time trying to keep all those laws. If I understand it, there's the Jews claim there are 613 laws, all the dietary laws and sanitary laws and laws about clothing and laws about eating. And good luck on that one. I don't I'm going to say I'm going to give that a huge I doubt you'll be able to do it. 